Recent studies suggest that one out of three Norwegians have a deep-rooted prejudice towards Muslims. And with the rising of Islamophobia, mostly thanks to this clown who goes around burning Qurans, we hit the streets of Norway asking one simple question. What do you know about Islam? What do you guys know about Islam? Nothing. Whatsoever. Nothing at all? Very little. I don't know the basics. I think that face says it all. Tell me one basic thing that you know. In my opinion, a yeah. bit totalitarian. Is it? Yeah. I don't like women. You, really? No. Why, why do you say that? Street, street power. We're asking people, what do you know about Islam? Islam? Yeah, what do you know about Islam? Well, I grew up in Africa. Oh, okay, tell me more. I had like uh, a lot some of friends. friends. Yeah. Oh, okay, like, so you I, even, friends. even today, I have a friend who is like a Muslim friend from UK. And we still have contact. Oh, that's what's up. So yeah. tell me one thing you know about Islam. You guys have a very rich heritage. Thank you. And you, you have a rich uh, culture and, 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 and history. And you know, only when a person has like had friends with Muslims, that's when they know how deep things go. What was your name again? Peter Michel. Peter, it has been a pleasure talking to you, man. Listen, go about your business. Yeah. I know I distracted you from actually, this. Actually, that business, I, I brought that bicycle. What if I just took your bike and just started riding it around? Okay, I'm gonna yeah. take your bike really quick, okay? Yeah, sure, sure, Give it. Okay, hello, you see we're finding this. Yes, hello, how are you doing? All right, Peter, let's go ask some people some questions. Sir, ma'am, hold on, I got the brakes, don't worry. It's safe, okay, really quick for you, okay? This is Peter's bike, it's not mine, I haven't stolen it, don't worry. What do you guys know about Islam? It's a religion. Right? Yes. It's supposed to be one of the most loving religions of all the religions. It definitely is. That's a good thing to know. If you know nothing but know that, that's a really good starting point. And what about you, sir? Well, I know it's one of the big major ones. You know, it's all about God. Absolutely. Where are you visiting from? New York. No way. I'm from New York as well. So if I ask you a question, do you know who the Prophet Muhammad was? Would you guys even know? Prophet Muhammad yeah. was one of the greatest prophets. That was, he was a prophet. Yeah. Prophesized, you know, he talked about Jesus. And it, he did. So, you guys are so much oh, fun. Worldly. We need to go and save the world right now. Guys, you've been so awesome. Peter, roll with me, man. Let's go do this. Come on, Peter. We're not done, Peter. Follow me, crew. Follow me. Man, we're coming for you. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm coming for you. I'm good, ma'am. A uh, quick question. What do you know about Islam? Not much. Not much? So do you know who the Prophet Muhammad was? Mm, yes. You do? What do you know about him? He was the original prophet? Yes. He was one of the messengers of God, just like Jesus, Moses, and Abraham. You've heard of those names before? I have, yeah. Where are you from? New York. You see, notice two for two right now, okay? Every New Yorker we've met have been very informed compared to the average Norwegian person. I'm from New York, too. Ah, amazing. Where in New York are you from? Manhattan. Yeah? Do you think you can invite me over for dinner one day? Sure. Yes. Are you serious? Yeah. But the food has to be halal. The meat has to be halal. There's halal butchers. I man. understand. Yeah. I'll do what I can. You'll do it? <laughs> of course. Listen, I'm serious. Listen, this is on camera, man. That's we're going to vlog. Yes, we're going to... Yes, we are. Listen, we're going to vlog at your home and we're going to go and eat a meal at your home. What do you okay. think? Okay. If this video gets 10,000 likes, we will pull up to Sister Tessa's house so she can cook us a halal dinner. So if you want to see that video, smash this video with a huge thumbs up. We're going to have a Tessa and SQ collab. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna visit your home and you're gonna have some halal food for us. It's amazing. Peter, we gotta go. What do you guys know about Islam? Not so much. You don't know much about Islam? Nothing whatsoever. Not much? Not much? What about you, sir? Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure, nothing. You don't know nothing about Islam? Very little. I think that face says it all. Hello, sir. How are you doing? You like it? All right. All right. Guys, really quick question for you. Okay, this is my friend Peter. Okay, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, at all. Uh, what do you guys know about Islam? Not that much. What about you, ma'am? Uh, not that much. Not that much. And, and ma'am, over there, what do you know? Anything? No. Guys, what is, what's going on over here, guys? We've got to educate the people. Peter, come on, let's go do this. Sir, a really quick question for you. What do you know about Islam? Oh. You know anything about Islam? Yes, of course. You know something. Tell me one thing about Islam. It's, uh, in my opinion, a yeah. bit totalitarian. Is it? Yes. Why do you say that? I don't like women. Really? What makes you say that? Because you hide them. Because we hide the women? We like to hide them. Got you. Do you hide your money? Yeah. A big thing, sir, because if you have a wallet, you're protecting your wealth and your money because you know if it's out there, it's going to be stolen. I cannot share that. You don't think it would be stolen? If you carried your money on your forehead, you don't think it would be stolen? afraid of your women to get stolen? No, I'm saying this. Are you afraid of your money? That's why you don't have it? Sorry. So if you're talking about the prejudice that happens over here, guys, this is a perfect example of that. Small bag and let them. That's what you're suggesting. You know, that's a very, that's a very like uh, uh, bigoted way of thinking. No, no, that's what you want. Otherwise, if we wanted that, we would have been doing that. But that's not what's supposed to be done. If you carry your money on your forehead, it's going to get stolen. Or false. I like to see a naked woman. You don't like.
You you like seeing naked women? Yes, of course. So you would like for someone to see your wife that's naked? It's enough. It's definitely. That's a naked woman, right? <laughs> Take care, sir. Be well. Okay. What do you guys know about Islam? Nothing. Nothing? What about about you? Uh, I know a little bit. <laughs> Tell me one thing that you know. I know uh, f uh, Muslim uh, girls every time need to have a uh, hijab. Yes, yeah, hijab. That's a very nice. Uh, I love that you know that and you pronounce it so well. Where are you from? From Ukraine. From Ukraine. Yes. Nice. Now, do you know why the Muslim women wear the hijab? Uh, yes, because you, uh, she need only uh, her beautiful uh, face only for uh, her uh, man. And her family, right? Yeah. What do you think about that? I think it's uh, good. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Right? It's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's interesting, right? Anything that we love and find valuable, we protect. Wouldn't you agree? Bog uh, Bogdan. Sometimes, yes. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. So take a look at the phone that you have in your pocket. Do you mind if we see it? I'm not going to run away with it, yeah. I promise, okay? Can we take a look at your phone right here? Okay. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. I'm married, okay? So don't worry. I have nothing to worry about, okay? So really quick, okay? You have this phone right over here. This has a case, correct? It has a case. Why do you have a case on it? Uh, because my phone can broke. Yes, it could crack. Yeah, and and it's not cheap to I fix. Want to say, save my phone? Yes, yes, you do, right? So, from our understanding of this, is this is human nature. Whenever something is a beauty of a value, it's delicate. Something like this, if it drops, it can crack. You understand? Within Islam, we know that the most beautiful asset, the most beautiful thing to the world, is a woman. You understand? And the beauty of a woman could be snatched, it could be harmed, it could be taken, and we don't want that to be done by anyone whatsoever. That's why when, when God has commanded women to, ha to protect their beauty and to cover their beauty, that's the reason. So I'm just giving a quick example of a phone, mm -hmm. right? Very yeah, nice example. Real quick, do you like my bike? Yeah. I love it, bro. Hey, yo, relax, right? That was kind of zesty. Real quick, man. Uh, what do you know about Islam? I know a lot about Islam. Bro. Tell me. Well, I know that the Prophet is uh, Muhammad. Yes. Yes, and uh, it's a religion. Yes. Yes, the holy book is the Quran. Yes. Yeah. How do you know so much? Because I'm Muslim. Ah, uh, you don't count, man. Get out of here. I've been looking everywhere for you guys. How are you doing? Good. Are you okay? Amazing. So I want to ask you guys a question. Uh, what do you guys know about Islam? I don't know the basics. Well, tell me one basic thing that you know. Quran. Quran. Wow. What do you know about Islam? Uh, I actually read a book that was like comparing the Quran to the Bible. That was really interesting. Really? What, tell me one thing you learned from it. Uh, there's a lot of similarities. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Yeah. And a lot of times people try to point out the differences when they're so minor. But they're trying to point it out because the goal is to make people not like each other and have these conversations. Exactly. Right? There's the same people, like mm -hmm. Abraham, who is Ibrahim. Ibrahim and Abraham, yes. And, um, like his sons. Do you know? Do you know Jesus in Arabic? How do you say Jesus' name in Arabic? What's his name in Arabic? I don't know. Have you ever heard of Isa? Is that Jesus? That's Jesus. Oh, that makes right. sense. You learn something new every day, guys. Street Dawa. You know what it is. Okay. So, have you ever heard of the Prophet Muhammad before? Yes. Yeah. Now, the Prophet Muhammad. Tell me one thing you know about him. Yeah, he, uh, he got um, a revelation. Yes. By Allah. The angel Gabriel. Yeah, the Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel, who's a messenger angel of God, right? Uh, just so you guys know, Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, is a messenger, just like Jesus, just like Moses, just like Abraham. And he was given the same message that all the other uh, prophets had, which was worship one God and alone, no partners whatsoever, there's a day of judgment, and heaven and hell and all that sort of stuff. So it was the same message, it was nothing different. And according to us, that is the true like message to be, meaning it's a simple message. People put divides, like people started calling themselves so. But the religion is supposed to be simple. Worship one true God alone and submit your will to him. Now that we found out that the average Norwegian knows nothing about Islam, I wonder what the solution to this problem is. I read a statistic that one out of three Norwegian people have a deep-rooted or major prejudice towards Muslims, right? Now, I could understand. I don't believe statistics. I like to talk to people, right? But you notice that. Do you feel like that could be true? Oh, for sure. Definitely. Why? I don't know, there's just a lot of uh, like prejudice and bigotry in Norway, I feel, that we don't talk about. Did you hear about this guy who openly burns Qurans? Have you heard of this person or seen him? Um, yeah. yeah. I can tell you're repulsed by it just from your facial expression. Yeah. It's, it's just not cool because whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter whose book it is. It's valuable to someone, it's special to someone, and it should be respected. Agreed? Yeah, absolutely. How do you think we can eradicate such type of prejudice in people? What do you think what the solution might be? That's like, a conversation. Like, where do you even start, right? But what do you think? Just like talking to people, being more open. Inform people? Inform people. What do you think? Uh, agree. You think 
informing is a good idea? Yeah. We're trying to open up an education center over here to help people and teach them more about Islam so that they're not afraid of what they don't know. So maybe if they learn a little bit more, maybe those walls and defense mechanisms might drop. Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah. I think that's a good idea. You think that's a good idea? Of course. It's a great idea. Yeah. Guys, it's been approved right here. Right here. You know what it is. We're here to build that Dawah Center. And, and you support the Dawah Center, right? Yes. He supports the Dawah Center, guys. Donate below. You already know what it is, guys. Let's build this and let's educate the people of Norway of the beauty of Islam. Islam is beautiful, right? Yes. Islam is beautiful, guys. Donate below. You already know what it is. Let's build this Dawah Center now. We pulled up over here in Norway, did some street Dawah with our uh, new member of the Zemzem Boys, Peter. We're about to go sail in the sunset. Peter, get on the bike. Yeah. I, I do the riding. Yeah. I, I, you sit at the back. All right, Peter. You know what it is. Let me get. Let me get back. Don't leave me yet, Peter. Hold on. All right, God. All right, hold on. Wait. Am I there? Oh, oh. Did I break something? I don't want to break it. All right, Peter. I got you. I'm holding on to you. Peter. We're leaving right now. This is the Zamza boy. What am I doing? Okay, I would do it like this. Okay. Oh, okay. This is so much better, guys. All right, Street Dawa Norway edition. You know what it is. Asking people what do they know about Islam. Hello guys, this is my friend Peter, and uh, we're out of here. Later guys.